Gerald Addy is a slum lord and he is manipulative and he is a narcissist. Watch out. I'm not on you. But people are gonna know you. you want my money. They're gonna you know you. Money. Hey, see, you coming to me now. You They're gonna know you. You see, you I'm gonna tell you a story. I don't want you no money. You, you look around here, I'm 33 years old, 34. This is my house. This is can't be your house. I will show the paperwork. What I did was I put all the money into our house. I will show before you judge me today and say I'm a defender of Mercy Gono, please watch the previous two videos that I've done that are just right there on my channel. The Bunny hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Banigo and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber. Thank you so much for coming back to watch this video because this one is going to be breaking down an in-depth analysis but i wanted to credit um, sunday or money because some of the video clips that i might be using i got from her to all my returning subscribers thank you for coming back and if you're new i appreciate you being here a youtuber put out a clip on our channel where she made it known that mercy gono was actually afraid of gerald addy she said that Mercy Gono was actually afraid of Gerald Addy because of this one reason, according to her. So she put out this clip that you guys might get to see right now. I've called the cops. They're on their way. Will you have a domestic violence from beating me? Breaking my stuff, assaulting me, assaulting my daughter? And then lying to YouTube that I'm the one who lied to the police. Like I'm capable of telling the police how to do their job. You're not to come anywhere around this house ever again. So grab your car, leave. I have the bonds right here and I have a police escort and the cops are coming. So if you know what's good for you, stay clear from me, far away from me. You can't be trusted. So you guys saw that clip where Mercy was saying stuff. Most of YouTube, there are words we can't just use or something on the bed that looked quite scary. And you know, if it's me, I will be scared for my life. Also, if someone has that kind of thing, you know, in their house. So apparently, that was why Mercy was scared. But I am wondering also that, okay, so Mercy was actually scared because of what Gerard Addy has. So, but why did Mercy suddenly develop the thick skin? I've told her multiple times. That's all. Plug my stuff. Why are you, why are you go, holding Go plug my stuff. Why are you holding Go plug my stuff. Okay. Stop. Gerald, don't you, hurt you, 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 don't you hurt me. Don't hurt me. Leave my, leave my stuff alone. Gerald? Leave my stuff alone. Let it go. I will not let it go. Let it go. I will not let it go. Leave my stuff alone. Okay. I will be aggressive about it. Okay. Leave it alone. All it's right. my stuff. Then yes. You're not talking that shit anyway. Leave it alone. I will. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. You hit me. Stop. Stop. Come on. Wait. You hit me. Okay. You hit me. You hit me. All right. I'm ready for you. You hit me. Yes. I'm ready for you. You're hitting me. I'm ready for you in this house. Yes. Why beat her? I'm ready for you. You're, you're hitting me. I'm ready for you. Do not do shit in this house. You're hitting me. In my house. You're hitting me. Is it because the matter has finally come out in the open or because the police is now involved? Because we've seen people who have spousal disagreement one way or the other. You have an issue with your partner and they still go ahead and do violent things. That doesn't mean that Gerard Addy is a saint. And that doesn't mean that, you know, Mercy Gono does not have her own fair share of the drama. So guys, basically, I want to break down the issue of this house, how Gerald Daddy has been exposed and why Gerald Daddy is not letting go. And I want to thank one of my commenters who came to the comment section and broke it down because this was ex exactly what I broke down and discussed with someone yesterday as regards the issue. Gerald Addy has a property. He meets this young lady who is financially stable and he cannot continue to, you know, pay for the mortgage of the house. So he puts the house in her name and tells her okay take care of the mortgage as soon as whatever it is i'm expecting which is money comes in i am going to pay you back and start doing you know whatever i need to do and then we can change the name of the house back mercy goes ahead okay changes the name and then the house is now in mercy's name mercy pays the money right mercy is a sharp girl i'll give that one to her i mean she didn't allow bola or cucumber or whatever cloud i am she did the needful to secure her money which is good okay women don't get carried loved up and forget yourself and that is why Messi still has a case that she's fighting with right now because if that house was still in gerald's name and mercy said she gave him all that money trust me the case will be different right now you won't see gerald coming online to post the things that he's posting okay gerald posted a video yesterday on his channel where he was discussing with the police officer and if you watch that video you get to understand you know the drama the reason why this drama is still going on so they agreed 
and then you know they were good trying to work things out and then messi posts the video on her channel gerald gets ticked off about it him and messi starts fighting calls on the cops and then you know the cops were like gerald you need to leave this place since messi gono is traveling for the sake of peace leave the house right but the issue here is that the reason why gerald is not letting go of this property is because gerald know that that house right now the market value has skyrocketed in such a short period of time the market value of that house has gone way up so gerald right now is fighting so he can get more the reason why gerald is fighting right now and saying he wants to be involved people that are going to be in charge of selling the house the lawyers and everything is because he wants to get more but messi gono is not allowing that because you know she's like oh i paid you some money i have worked in the house i made the house look beautiful practically the furnitures and everything i have spent money so i can't lose totally you put the house in my name i paid you money and you've not even finished paying me in full so therefore you don't have right to the property to follow me to the lawyer discuss with the lawyer when the house is sold you're gonna get the money that you put in the house and i mean everybody goes their way but gerald is not having it and if you ask me really i want to say oh because of the sake of peace messi gono should you know just allow him being who gerald is right now and the kind of evidences that are coming out against him by the day because i even went to gerald's channel i'm like brother you need to come clean and come correct and stop dropping half and half videos and trying to paint a narrative that you know you put a narrative but you don't tell us where the issue actually started from or why there's an issue on ground you just bring out your camera and video in her I still don't support Messi because her child was there and she was arguing, right? I don't, I don't support it. I mean, she could have found a way around it one way or the other, right? But still on still, Gerald Audi was there also. And if he's a father and a good man who loves his children as much as he says he does, he should have taken it into consideration that the baby is here. So because of that reason, he's not going to fight Messi. But Gerald didn't give any flipping scent also. So both of them, I mean, they are still in the same boat, if you ask me anyway. But as regards to the house... Gerald is not letting go because he knows the market value of the house has skyrocketed and he knows what he's likely to get from it. But Gerald, you did not work. You did not do anything to make the house the way it is. Messi Gono practically did everything. It is on her channel showing, you know, a clean with me. People are working. Even while she was saying the house was on sale, she called in people to come and start working on the house, on the things that were bad, the floors and other things that were bad in the house. But now you want to reap what you didn't so practically. That is just the fight. That is it. If he had paid Messi in full initially, we won't be here right now because Messi would have collected her money and, you know. But Messi has spent so much in making the house look the way it is. I want you guys to watch this video and I'll be back. Gerald Eddy is a slumlord and he is manipulative and he is a narcissist. Watch out. You're going too far. Yes, I don't like the car. You're going too far now. Uh, you got no business no matter how they make. Please keep that on, on video. He look like he's under the influence. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, we, we rent this house. My name is Amber Mitchell, and I'm coming to spill some tea. Gerald Addy is a manipulating landlord. He is a slum lord to the third power. I live in his home. I live. In, I, I I rented a home from him in February that I paid more than eighteen hundred dollars in, and I don't have air in right now. For two months, I haven't had air. For a week before that, we didn't have hot water, and he has not fixed anything. He tells me that he's selling this house. Comes to my house late at night, Saturday, last Saturday. He was at my house at 11.45, 12.35, something like that p.m. Videos coming. And he came in my house and thought he had the right to be here that late. And invited company in a home where people live. Gerald Eddy, y'all know the internet star Mercy Gono? Yep. He's doing me the same way he did her. I rented this home. But this man comes to my house as though he's entitled to be here whenever he wants. I have a two-level home, people. Now, come with us. We're going to walk around. It's probably 85 degrees outside. There's no air in my house. It's hot in here. 
We have the door open because we don't have air. Follow me. This is the upstairs of this house. There's a basement. Now we're gonna walk downstairs and I'm gonna let y'all see what I mean by what he's doing. This is the only thing that's holding this man down. That's it. This. Follow me. Look at the house. It's falling apart. No lock. Y'all see there's no lock there. So if he comes down here and opens this door, he can easily get to my house. So now y'all seeing the downstairs. Come follow me. Not finished. Nobody has no reason to be down here. Water heater is. Downstairs. The light don't work, but this is where the hot water heater is. Now I live upstairs, but my hot water heater and my furnace is downstairs, both together. But he said he states he rented me only the upstairs. How do I have a house without the things I need? I don't understand. This is the way he left this place. Never came back to fix, fix it. This is how we've been living. At 12 o'clock midnight, he came through this door. He came through this door. At 12 o'clock midnight, you see this? Thank you very much. Oh, let's go. You know, let's go. 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 I have my grandchildren upstairs. This, that, this is unacceptable. It's too late in life for anybody to be around my house. I don't, I don't know what you got. I don't have any work. Hello. Ma'am, see, he can stick his arm in here. That's how he's opening that door. I don't know what's going on with me. You guys saw that video of Gerald Addy's second house. The way it is looking messy, as in, not messy, go no. Yeah, but the way the house is looking, you know, crumpled and whatever and the way the turnout came out and she is freaking complaining and giving it to gerald hardy and calling him out because the whole issue on ground right now is not about them dating anymore or being together it's the house that gerald keeps talking about and messi gono is trying to you know take him out now gerald hardy he stated that he has like three charges you know breaking and entering dv and also you know um, child abuse or something like that and gerald why can't you address it bro in this comment section do you have these you know charges but apparently the defender of the universe the girl who mesigono said is gerald's girlfriend that came on youtube and was you know bringing out proofs and whatever ran down to the comment section to come you know lash at me because she wanted to defend gerald adi doesn't he have a mouth to reply the comments by himself why are you defending gerald Anyways, guys, back to the issue at hand. So, Gerald Addy is a shitty landlord, according to this woman, and Gerald Addy broke into her house. So, because you rented your property to someone and you don't have anywhere to stay, then you break in because you did not make the necessary provision for that property because according to what was displayed in that video you guys just watched, that property is shitty as hell. There's mold, there's no AC, the locks are barely hanging. It kind of tells you, even though, yes, Messi Gono has displayed some you know character that we are we don't know that side of her as i said let's not judge her because everyone you, when they get angry you don't know how they will behave and i'm sure messi gono has tuned so much she has tuned so much and that is why she's flaring up right now still doesn't mean it's okay that she's fighting with a man where her daughter is that is my biggest concern okay but 
Mer Mercy God, I am sure she has tuned so much. And if Gerald had the God to break into his tenant's property late in the night with guests, he didn't even go alone. So obviously, he didn't have anywhere to stay when the police officer told him to leave that property. And then he went and broke in into his tenant's house. And the place is shitty as hell. Gerald is a broke house, guys. I mean, let's leave it at that. Gerald is freaking a broke house. He should stop shouting and relieving past glory. Because that was what, what Messigono was fighting. That I pay the bills. I pay the um, electricity bills. And you want to charge your phone. And she, at that point, she was probably frustrated at Gerald. And then she lashed at him. Still doesn't make it okay that her daughter was there. But Gerald, Adi, trying to ruin Messigono's reputation by bringing out these crappy things. But if you guys have more evidence against Gerald, Adi, please, you guys should bring it out at this point. Because Gerald is out to ruin Mercy. I'm not saying Mercy is a saint. But, I mean, you guys have parted ways. You guys are not together anymore. So, why are you bringing out these videos right now? I don't know what you think about this whole thing you've seen and heard. Seeing this side of Gerald Adi breaking into his tenant property and his tenant complaining and him shouting, oh, he has money, he has money. And then look at the way his property is looking. If not for Mercy Gono, who moved into the other property with Gerald Adi and made that place livable, I am sure that property will be depreciating as this other one is right now. Do you guys understand? So basically, the fight right now between Mercy Gono and Gerald Adi is money. Because Gerald wants to claim money where he did not sow, right? You did not sow. You did not work out for the property. Somebody else did the hard job. Made the place look beautiful and livable. And right now you want to cash out. But Messi also. So if you can just help him with little. So he doesn't die of, you know, brokenness or starvation or whatever. Maybe you should consider. So that this old drama just dies down and your name keeps coming out, you know, out here. Anyways, guys, I don't know what you think. Gerald Addy exposed because i mean he's a shitty landlord according to his tenant i didn't say that thank you guys for watching this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll be back with more videos as they unveil okay thank you guys for watching